It's Aaliyah, welcome back to my channel. I'm very excited for today's video because I finally know what I wanna do with this channel. <laughs> I'm getting my life together, guys. I'm so freaking excited. When I've been thinking about different video ideas that I wanna do, you know, the content I wanna create, it's always centered around self-care or self-love or personal growth, development, whatever. So I've decided that I think that's where my channel is gonna go. Self-care is a very, very big topic in my life. It's something I'm very passionate about. I love learning new things about it. I love sharing what I know about it. Oh, it's just so great and it makes me so happy. So I'm really excited to be able to share what I know with you guys to hopefully improve your lives. <laughs> and I also have an uploading schedule. Wow! My new uploading schedule will be every Sunday. Woo! I figured that would be the perfect day for self-care videos because it kind of just like sets up your entire week, you know? It makes your vibe for that week very happy and positive. Also another update, I am going to move out um, for the very first time in about a month and I'm so excited. I'm a little low-key nervous but it's gonna be so much fun. Uh, I can't wait. So I'm very excited to take you guys along on that journey with me. Um, if you want me to do any specific good, <laughs> if you want me to do any specific videos about moving out for the first time, like how I'm packing, how I chose my apartment, you know, different things like that, please let me know in the comments because I'd love to uh, do that for you guys. Because Lord knows I've watched countless of YouTube videos talking about moving out for the first time because I know nothing. <laughs> I'm just so freaking excited, you guys, for this fall. Um, I don't know. I just have a feeling that a lot of great, awesome things are going to happen. Oh, man. It's just going to be so good. So anyways, let's get into the purpose of this video. So now that I know that the direction I want to take my channel is in a direction of self-love and self-care, I thought, why not kick this channel off with a self-care tips. I created a list on my phone of my top five self-care tips and I'm really excited to show you guys so let's just get right into it. All right, so tip number one is to cleanse your body as well as your space. Whenever I have a very big like self-care night or something like that, I'll take a big long shower, take my time, you know, just kind of relax, do a face mask, different things like that. So recently I've been trying out a new body wash from Bath & Body Works and I think I talked about it, yes, in my last video, my what's in my bag video. I have a mini lotion of the Lovely Dreamer from Bath & Body Works. Well, I have the body wash to match it, so it looks like this. It's very, very pretty. I love it. The packaging is great. There's like clouds on it and it's pink and it's very beautiful. And then I have a bigger bottle of the lotion to match it. So I'll use this all over my body in the shower and then after I get out of the shower and dry off, I will lather this on everywhere and I just smell like a dream, smell like a cloud. I've also just purchased a brand new face wash that I'm really excited to continue using. I tried it for the first time last night and I really, really liked it. It is the brand Pacifica and it is a kale detox face wash. Um, it says it's a deep cleansing face wash. It removes makeup, cleanses and tones. It has coconut water, clay, and super greens. Um, and it is for oily and blemish prone skin types. It is also 100% vegan and cruelty free, which is good. Um, but this face wash actually felt really, really good on my face last night. It smells delicious. It smells like a green juice or like a mint leaf, something like that. But it made my skin feel very, very refreshed and very soft and I loved this. So I'm gonna continue using it. I'll give you guys updates if you're interested in that. And then I also love to use face mask when I'm having a self-care night. So um, I just bought this one yesterday. Again, I'm gonna try it tonight. It matches this face wash. It is a Pacifica Super Green Detox Sheet Mask. Um, I'm very excited to use these two products together. We'll see how it goes. And the other half of that is to just cleanse your space. So yesterday I cleaned my entire room. I had so much laundry. Um, on the floor just because it was like all in one basket. It was ridiculous. So I picked all that up. I vacuumed. I dusted. I organized my desk and everything just feels a lot less cluttered and I feel like that in turn 
kickstarted me into a very productive mood where like, oh, I'm going to plan out my entire week. I'm going to film this video. I'm going to think of blog post ideas. It just kind of was a reset that I needed, you know? My second tip for self-care is to get into meditation. Meditation is fairly new for me. I used to not be into that. I used to get very bored with it. Um, but more recently, more so this year, I've really come to appreciate it and love it. And I actually do it like all the time. <laughs> It's very, very relaxing if you're listening to the right playlist. Um, sometimes I almost fall asleep, to be honest. I have a post on my blog where I go into more detail about how I personally meditate, um, how I like to do it. If you want to go read that, I can link it down below. Um, but I was also planning on doing an entire separate video just talking about the benefits of meditation, how I meditate, different things like that. So if you'd like to see that, give this video a thumbs up, let me know in the comments because I think that'd be really fun. My third tip for self-care is to just spend an hour or two doing something you are very passionate about. And you can find this time in any day, like an hour is not that long, it doesn't take up that much time out of your day. And it just kind of puts you in a more positive mindset if you're doing something that you're passionate about and that you love. So for example, I'm very passionate about my blog, so I might spend an hour a day researching different things I could write about, writing blog posts, um, you know, doing different things like that. So I would say just find that one thing you're passionate about, whether that be a hobby, a topic you really like to research, anything like that. Just spend about an hour or two out of your day doing that, and I promise you it'll make your day a lot more positive and just make you happier. <laughs> Number four is to watch your favorite movie or your favorite TV show. So my favorite movie in the entire world is Casablanca. I watch that a lot when I need a breather or like a reset or something. But I also go to a lot of Disney movies as well just because, I don't know, I'm just obsessed. It's fine. Um, but some of my favorite shows would be like... I'm super into Friends right now, um, The Office, Parks and Rec, different things like that. Just find that one movie or that one show and just watch it and it will just put you in a positive mindset. And who doesn't love binging on Netflix? I, I don't understand. And number five on my tips for self-care list is to get into journaling. I talked about this in my self-care routine video that I did a couple videos ago. Um, I've been very very into journaling this year which is new for me because it's something I've always wanted to do but never actually fell through with it. So I showed this in my video but in case you haven't seen that one this is what my journal looks like. It's just gray velvet as you can see. It's not super flashy although it does have gold on the side of the pages. I love journaling. It's just a very good way to get all your thoughts, your ideas, your worries out on paper and this also goes along with the law of attraction, manifesting different things, writing it down is very very beneficial, making bullet lists of goals that you want, things you want to accomplish, the universe will see that and take it and bring it into your life. I am very much a prime example of that. Um, if you want a manifestation success story video, tell me in the comments because I have quite a few. <laughs> but yeah, just finding little times throughout the day to journal, whether it just be like, you know, a bulleted list of your goals or a gratitude list, it will definitely raise your vibrations, bring good karma into your life. It'll just make you more positive. So there you go. Those are my five tips for self-care, just as a kickstart for this channel. Again, I'm very excited for the direction this channel is going. I just have a very good feeling about it. Um, uh, I don't know. I just am so excited about it. <laughs> Count how many times I've said excited this video. Just, uh, just do that. It's just going to be so fun, you guys. So definitely subscribe if you want to join the family. It's going to be great. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed, leave some ideas in the comments, you know, whatever. Again, my uploading schedule is every Sunday. Don't have a time, but you know, it's just somewhere throughout that day. So keep an eye out for that, but you can turn on the notification bell, it's right by the subscribe button, and you will get notified exactly when I upload the video so you can go and be the first to watch it and the first to leave that thumbs up. <laughs> Let me know if you have any ideas for videos that you would like to see. I pull a lot of inspiration from other self-care YouTubers, so if you have any channel recommendations, please leave them down below because I'm always looking for new people to watch and people to be inspired by. 
And I don't know. I hope you guys have a great week. Um, yeah, it's going to be great. <laughs> and I will see you guys in a brand new video next week. Bye!